Hundreds of millions of people now describe themselves as content creators. The rules of the game have changed and businesses are rewriting their marketing playbooks to keep pace with the irrepressible influencer economy. Welcome to The Exchange from our studios here in Doha. Coming up on this episode, Snapchat's president of Europe, Middle East and Africa, Ronan Harris, reveals the secrets of Snap's success and why business users are at the heart of his future plans. Plus, we meet the YouTube megastar turned agency boss Casper Lee to find out where the influencer economy might go next. Well, in recent years, the influencer economy has matured. According to finance group Goldman Sachs Research, it's a sector now worth at least $250 billion and predicted to almost double, reaching $480 billion by 2027. According to research by Influencer Marketing Hub, a firm that specializes in data across the social media and influencer industry, a staggering 200 million people now identify as content creators, with about a third of this number intending to pursue it as a full-time profession. And while celebrity deals make the biggest headlines, influencers with fewer followers are critical to the future success of the industry. According to research conducted by Harvard Business Review, content creators with 50,000 followers or less account for a remarkable 76% of all TikTok creators and up to 96% on Instagram. So how easy is it to survive and thrive as a content creator? Well, our reporter Pierrick Laurent in Los Angeles met one business owner with her own recipe for influencer success. Hi guys, Los Angeles is the ultimate destination for influencers. This is where the wildest dreams come true. And today I'm going to meet with someone whose success went beyond what she even imagined. Hi. Hi Tue. Tue Nguyen is only 26, but the Vietnam native who moved to the US when she was a child has a million followers on TikTok and Instagram combined. She gained visibility during the pandemic from posting this cooking video of her favorite Vietnamese recipe. There was so much interaction and I was like, oh, people are really liking this. And then I think it was the first like six hours, it got like over three million views. By signing with an agent, she quickly monetized her increasing fame on social media. Most of my money comes from brand deals. That's where the usage rights come in play and that's where they use your content for advertisement. After hosting a series of pop-up restaurants, she partnered in 2023 with a lifestyle company to open her own place in West Hollywood. Didi features her best recipes and has already served 40,000 customers. But Tue says the competition is fierce. I feel like this happens to a lot of restaurants, whether it started on social media or not. The honeymoon phase died down of after the opening because they're like, oh yeah, we've already been there. And so in order to like keep people coming back, we constantly change up our menu. We have events. And Tue isn't done yet. She's on track to publish her first cookbook in September. The talented Toy Huynh there sharing the key ingredients needed to achieve success. Instant messaging super app Snapchat has over 400 million daily users. Ronan Harris is the company's president of Europe, Middle East and Africa. I asked Ronan why so many people are attracted to Snapchat and what future direction the firm is taking. Influencers come to Snapchat first and foremost because they find an audience that they can connect with. It's the fun, creative lenses that allows them to have a little bit of a, a, a kind of a fun moment with their, with their closest relationships. So augmented reality is something that Snapchat really uh, has a, a leading position in, um, both in terms of our technology, but also in terms of the usage stats. But it's also playing a very important role for brands and businesses. So uh, sponsored augmented reality lenses are something that's giving people a very different sort of ad format. It's giving people an opportunity to uh, uh, create an experience online that their potential consumers and fans can really wrap themselves in. So big platforms like Snapchat are evolving, but so are some of social media's most famous faces. YouTube superstar Casper Lee launched his comedy and interview channel back in 2011 and became one of the most popular YouTubers in the world. 
Many years and millions of followers later, Casper's career has evolved to support other creators and the big brands they represent. Well, I caught up with Casper here in Doha and asked him why he made this transition and his thoughts on why social media apps are so popular. So about seven years into my career as a, a YouTuber or creator, um, I met a guy called Ben Jeffries, uh, and he had this idea uh, about connecting brands and creators at scale. And so we co-founded Influencer.com together. And at the time, the brand deal world was really kind of a wild west. And so what we wanted to do is professionalize that with really incredible people, but also great technology. And uh, we've managed to do that. We've worked on um, thousands of campaigns with tens of thousands of creators. Uh, and some of the world's leading brands, and uh, we work across the globe. So when it comes to posting, I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all. You're going to see creators being able to scale their productions without having to hire massive teams because things like editing, remixing, just making content in general, even uh, special effects, these sorts of things have become a lot easier. Ultimately, people want to follow real people and listen to real stories. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds, Start the Clock. Bang and Ulufsen get ready for their annual general meeting. The Danish firm famous for high-end speakers has been busy developing a new smartphone app capable of delivering high-resolution audio and immersive spatial sound formats to enhance the listening experience of its customers. Investors will be hoping that markets remain in tune with the firm's strategic shift from hardware to software. Popular fashion brand American Eagle Outfitters Incorporated prepares to share an earnings release for Q2 2024. The fashion group recently centralized the management of all American Eagle brands into one location. Aegean Airlines reports on their half-year performance for 2024. Greece's leading domestic airline celebrated its 25th birthday earlier this year with a record increase in passenger numbers. The group's revenue and profits soared to record heights in 2023. Continuing their financial success this year will mean navigating turbulent market conditions. So the influencer revolution is in full swing with billions of dollars being made every day by influencers and agencies alike. But with technology like AR and AI transforming digital platforms and influencers increasingly catching the eye of marketing directors and CEOs, it's clear that what boardrooms used to see as novelty is fast becoming the norm. Well, that's all we have time for on this edition of the show. Thank you for watching. Please do check out euronews.com for all your latest business news and join us again next time on The Exchange.